I think it's important to remember that um, in the 1800s, up until about 1910 or so, cholera was a disease that afflicted Montreal. It afflicted New York, Boston, Washington. Uh, it was a disease that was believed to be caused by bad air. It wasn't understood really until about, I would say, 1892, when Robert Koch definitively developed his principles. We now know that with good water treatment, the disease is essentially absent in Western Europe, in uh, Canada, the United States, most countries where water treatment is provided. It occurred to us after a couple of decades of research, learning about the natural source of the bacterium, learning about uh, the relationship to seasonality, uh, doing a lot of molecular biology and studying the bacterium, it occurred to us that we should do something for the villagers who simply did not have access to safe water. And our hypothesis was that if we removed the host uh, that carries the bacteria, these are uh, plankton in the water to which the bacterium is attached and in their gut, if we remove the particulates and the plankton by simple filtration, we could reduce cholera. And in fact, we did by 50% in a three-year study carried out uh, with funding provided by the National Institutes of Health in the United States. Work done in Bangladesh in remote villages where we trained the women who collected the water for their families each morning to use seri cloth folded about four times, the seri, that material that they used for their dresses. And old seri cloth was even more effective because the strands had frayed a bit and it provided a very effective mesh that was about 20 microns in diameter and the plankton and particulates are about 10 or 100 times larger. So by just filtering out that material, we could reduce cholera. For the global perspective, it's very important to understand that safe water provides not only protection against cholera, but also against a couple of dozen diseases transmitted by unclean or polluted water. I think this is a message that is really critical. Vaccines are important, very clearly important, but if not coupled with safe water, then the struggle is even more severe. Safe water coupled with vaccines I think provides a healthy childhood for millions of children who deserve it.